All right, John, thank you. ABC 7 business commentator Jeff Stern joins us now. Jeff, uh, thanks for being here with an update. Another week with some big swings on the markets. How will we end the week, though? Scott, that is right. Yesterday was pretty big, down over 200 points, although it only closed down a quarter of 1%. If we can hold the way we are, we'll be about flat for the Dow for the week. S&P as well as the NASDAQ trading just shy in the negative. Right now, oil is actually above $50 a barrel, so that's positive. China's economy is growing. Right now, Janet Yellen is talking about interest rates, so we'll have to see what she says, and we'll get a better understanding after that speak. This morning, I woke up. Futures were up. Let's see how we're currently trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is 18,209, up 110 points, over a half of 1%. NASDAQ, 5,237 up 25 points, just shy of a half of a percent, while the S&P is trading at 2,141, up 8.67, 0.41% in the positive. Well, some of the big banks, Jeff, are reporting third quarter results today. How are they looking so far? Scott, the bottom line is they are looking good. J.P. Morgan, as well as Wells Fargo and Citigroup, all reported or earnings. J.P. Morgan's the largest one right now. They came in at $25.5 billion in revenue. Of that, $6.3 billion was all profit. Wells Fargo was strong as well, just shy of $22 billion for the third quarter revenue. Citigroup was strong, $17 billion for third quarter as well. They credit their fixed income department for having the biggest gains. What does this all really mean for us? The economy's not as bad as we think, Scott. Right now, both J.P. Morgan as well as Wells Fargo is trading negative, but <coughs> Citigroup is positive. Financials should improve while interest rates rise, so we'll have to keep our eyes on Janet Yellen and these big banks, Scott, but we have our eyes on them for sure. All right, Jeff, thank you so much for the update. Have a great weekend, Scott. You too.